With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, so our question is, which of the set given below may represent the magnitude of three vectors adding to zero? Our options are 2, 4, 8 and 4, 8, 16. 1, 2, 1 and 0.5, 1, 2. Okay. So the concept used over here is concept we will use is if the sum of the two vectors, the magnitude, sum of the magnitude of the two vectors would be greater than or equal to the third vector, then it will be only possible that the sum of the three will come as zero. Okay. Now let us say check out for the equality condition that is when the sum of the two magnitude of the two vectors is equal to the magnitude of the third vector. Okay, so let us suppose that our one vector is having magnitude of three a vector and another vector of having the same magnitude in the same direction three. Okay, so the resultant will be a vector plus b vector the magnitude of the a vector plus b vector will be how much six correct now let us suppose that the third vector is in the opposite direction c vector having magnitude six correct now from here what we can say is the magnitude of the two vectors is equal to the magnitude of the third vector correct now but the sum comes out to be how much zero as 6 minus 6 comes out to be 0. This is the first conditions. Correct. Now checking out the second condition which says that in which the sum of the magnitude of two vectors is greater than the magnitude of the third vector. Correct. Now let us suppose this is our vector number 1 a vector having magnitude of 3 and this is our second vector having magnitude of 4 b vector magnitude of 4. So the resultant of a and b vector comes out to be 5. Now the, our, let us suppose that our c vector of having magnitude equals to 5 in the opposite direction. Correct. So the sum of a and b vector a vector plus b vector is how much? 7 which is greater than the magnitude of c vector but the resultant sum of sum of a vector plus b vector plus c vector comes out to be 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. Correct. So, the condition required to get the sum of three vectors as 0, the vectors need to fulfill this condition that is the summation of the magnitude of two vectors should be greater than or equal to the third vector. Now, checking out the options in the option number 1, the sum of two vectors is 6 which is less than the third vector so condition is not satisfied in the second option 4 plus 8 is 12 less than 16 again condition is not satisfied in the option number 3 2 plus 1 is 3 which is greater than the third vector condition satisfied and option number 4 0 0.5 plus 1 is 1 1.5 less than 2 again condition is not satisfied so our only correct option is the option number 3 we can also re-verify it okay how we can re-verify it? Let us suppose that the a two vectors are in the this direction having equal magnitude. A vector is equal to magnitude of the b vector is equal to 1. And the third vector, c vector of magnitude 2 is in this direction. C vector is in this direction having magnitude of 2. So the sum of a vector plus b vector plus c vector will be 1 plus 1 minus 2 is equal to 0. Correct. So option number 3 is the correct option for us. Okay. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.